What's up my loves? My name is Paige, this is Paige with Paige, and today we're going to be talking through all the readathons happening in September. Hello my darlings, welcome to this video. Today we are going to be discussing all of the readathons that I have found at the time of filming that are happening throughout the month of September. And dear god are there some month long ones. For those that are new to this video, each month I go through and see what readathons I can find on YouTube. They might be the occasional primary Instagram or Discord depending on what I have found in my travels. There is also a readathons Google form so you can submit any readathons that either if you're creating it or know of for upcoming months and I just go through and check those for the upcoming month as well but you can submit for once in the future and I'll just hold on to that until the month is upon us so that is linked down below if you are planning any or have any coming up that you want me to be aware of I just ask for the information on how to tag it and usually <laughs> it's more of a coherent description of what the readathon's about in comparison to my own noggin because yes but for these videos there are a few disclaimers this is what I have found at the time of filming which currently is the Thursday the 29th of August at 10 to 6 p.m. AEST and this video will be posted at 6 a.m. my time tomorrow so short turnaround times but this is what I found at the time of filming. Link down below will be links to each of the videos as well as the creators that I have found whether that be a co-host or the creator themselves. If it is a co-host they will let you know in their video where to go for the creator's information if I haven't included that myself. I only tag like the person that I found it from not the creator if I found it through someone else and then there will also be a Google spreadsheet that I create which has the little spiel that I'm going to read out for you as well as links to the videos as well and if there's a discord and I had easy access to it then that's in there as well and I also have a link to a playlist of all of the announcement videos if there is one to be had. So there is that and yeah it's just what I found so if I have missed any please leave them in the comments down below I am not infallible and we usually run this video from the shortest duration to the longest duration so let's dive in because we have 28 to talk about 22 month-long ones so let's go so the first readathon is running for four days and that is from the 5th to the 8th of September and this is Squash That Series Round 9 and is created by Is Bailey Reading. So for this, this is focusing on continuing in our series. So there are spinner wheels to choose your TBR. There are eight wheels and they both have an easy and a hard version. So if it's pages, more or less sort of thing and you can choose what one you would like to go with. This round is not competitive. That last round was super high in-depth competition so this has a little bit more flexibility and like I said there are eight wheels per mode. Bailey encourages you to go in the order that they have laid out and to spin as you go but since it's not competitive you can do what you want if you want to jump around with what they are or if you spin them all at the beginning of the month to be able to set your TBR or the beginning of the readathon to be able to set your TBR rather than spinning it, reading the book, spinning it, reading the book. Again with this ideally it's not to start new series but it's not competitive, so up to you. And it really is just a fun time to come together and to be reading and continuing on with those series and getting them finished off. Then we have a five day readathon running from the 13th to the 17th and that's the Survive the Night, which I found on Reading with Jess's channel. So it's time to survive summer camp and each prompt is a unique location on a map and the prompts based off that location is very creative. You will need to be involved in the discord as every day there is a killer that will visit a location and if you're currently reading the prompt for that location uh, you won't survive. There are ways of getting back into it but I just thought this was a really fun added step to be able to shake up how your reading goes. And they also have photo challenges as well. Then we have three week-long readathons. The first running from the 2nd to the 8th and that is Final Book Support Group created by Steph Loves. And this is a bingo board designed to read final books or continuations and series and it is a community support to be able to finalize off the series that we procrastinate on. It's a mixture of both bookish and activity prompts and do as you see fit with these, interpret them how you please. If you don't want to read the prompts, you don't have to. As long as you've read a sequel, it counts. Then we have running from the 16th to the 22nd, the historical fiction readathon, which I found on Novel Life's channel. And this is to be focused on reading different forms of historical fiction. So fantasies, mysteries, literary, romance, 
anything like that and it is predominantly focused on Instagram they have a lot of beautiful templates and they also have a group book for the week basically it's in a checklist form and just check off what you can and also I would check out the lives for how much you do get completed as they have hinted that there might be something happening with that and then from the 22nd to the 28th we have Witchathon Maybon round which is created by Yarn Reader and it's time for the fall equinox so all the prompts are based around the fall time and celebrate all things autonomous and this delightful time. There are some activities, some reading challenges, and it's really just having a cozy time celebrating the season and being able to share that with friends as well. So, month longs. Here we go. The first is Seasonathon Academy Semester 3, which is created by Completely Melanie. And once again, we're returning to Seasonathon Academy, where you will need to read five courses to work on your Bachelor of Reading. You can't double up, but there are categories with multiple options that you can choose from. So for two of the courses, you have multiple options within that one course to be able to pick from. So it's not, here are the five prompts that you have to do. You do have choice to be able Able to select within those categories. There will also be a group book with the live chat with the author and study sessions throughout the month and I'm really excited because I'm also a co-host and I can't wait to talk about the Obsidian Tower. So it's gonna be a good time! On the flip side of that positivity, the next one is Sufferathon, which is created by me. And Sufferathon is back! This time the receptionists are taking you on a lovely cruise. There will be weekly prompt drops from the four hosts so you have the choices for what prompt you want to be able to complete for the week you only need to complete one of the prompts but also if you join the discord just be wary the only competition or competitive form of this is with yourself and potentially against Ellie Marner and the receptionist if you do join the discord again it's a chaotic time in there but so much fun and I hope that you guys enjoy it we are really flexible in the fact that the receptionists usually don't care enough so we'll help you where we can but we also just plan to have a fun time throughout your suffering. So it's one of those readathons that just lends to the chaos and we have a grand time with it. The next one is the Magical Readathon Autumn Equinox created by G from Book Roast and we're returning to Aurelium to continue on with our chosen careers. Each career has a set number of courses and the grades that you need to achieve in those with corresponding prompts. The world is so expansive and it has been revamped for the guild points this time so it is applicable to be able to help with your studies through potions and extra little bits that might help you with the prompts or your reading or extending it out or just to be able to customize your character and the reading experience. So it is so immersive and G does a much better job of explaining it but it's one of my favorite readathons. These three are just, I'm living the high life right now. Then we have Phantom Romance Readathon 2024. This is created by Maggie's Books and Stuff. So this is a game based readathon where your character or team is trying to defeat the Phantom of the Opera. It's a choose your own adventure meets an escape room. And lastly, all genres count for points, not just romance, and you can double and triple up with other readathons. Then we have the Goddess Complex Readathon, which is created by Beatrice's Book Nook. And the goal for this readathon is to see which team wins, or in better words, which team dethrones Zeus from the Olympus. There is a general prompt list for which you can stack up three, all of different difficulties, but there are also team prompts as well, which will be multipliers of the total amount of points the main prompt list prompt got you. It looks fascinating. It's so nice seeing everyone creating their TBRs. Then we have Sweet Valley September, which is created by Mini Book Chats. And this is a memory of Francine Pascal, the creator of Sweet Valley, who passed away recently. And we'll just be reading books within the Sweet Valley universe. So just a time to come together and be able to celebrate a iconic series. Then we have a purely Discord base, but I just loved it so much and the thought and effort that went into it. So when I saw this pop up on the Pick Pongathon Discord, I jumped on it, but they don't have a YouTube channel as far as I'm aware. They're Winterfox 12 on Discord, but this is the Stardew Valley readathon. And this is a readathon all based off Stardew Valley. You don't have to have played to be able to participate. You do need to sign up on the Discord. It is solely Discord based for you to be able to choose your team. You can either go based off what you know of the characters from the game or just the vibes. And there are five skills that you can work on all with different prompts to score points for your team. So the skills are awesome as they aren't just reading prompts. Some of them are, like two categories are pages and then actual reading prompts but others are self-care, entertainment, outside of books and also extra challenges for those that 
really want to challenge themselves. Each of the standings will be posted weekly and then the final standings will be posted at the beginning of October and it just is a really lovely discord to be in as well. Then we have the Back to Hogwarts Readathon which I found through Candlewick Library's channel so there is a prompt for each of the Harry Potter books plus a few bonus prompts as well as a giveaway. Then we have Slayer Fest 24 which is created by Rescue and Reads. This is a competitive and collaborative team based readathon. You do need to join the discord as the prompts will be dropped in there and you will be building your points to be able to defeat a big bad. You can read your team and weapon book prior to September starting and like I said prompts will be dropped throughout the month and based on season one of Buffy. Again you can still participate if you haven't seen it or watched it and the only spoilers that it might have is in the story leading up to the prompt but not the prompt itself but they should be bare minimal and it's if you want to go watch Buffy, they highly recommend it. Then we have the Mystic Readathon, which I found on Nell Diamond's channel, and this is a competitive and strategy games readathon based off season two of The Vampire Diaries. You don't have to have watched the show to be able to participate, we just like theming things off our favourite things. And you do need to join the Discord to be able to participate as well. There are two ways that you can play, and you can switch between. So if you start off on strategy mode and then need a break, you can switch to non-strategy and vice versa and it is faction based. There are quite a few different prompt styles and you can also sabotage other teams. Then I have Scientific September which is created by Tasha's Library. This is a chance to read more science fiction and science non-fiction. You can choose between three different career tracks based off what you're going to read so if you're going to read fiction, non-fiction or both and you build atoms through the amount of books that you read. There are up to 10 atoms you can collect. There are 20 different prompts to make it fun and figure out what electrons you want to read from so you need to read 10 of the 20 to complete the readathon but even if you just read one science book in some capacity you've participated and completed it. Next up we have Adventurathon created by Kate Beth Bookish and there are two phases to this readathon. The first happening from the 1st to the 22nd of September which is slightly more individualized and then from the 23rd to the 30th we are team-based challenges to defeat the big bad. The initial prompts are able to be doubled up as the path choices based off where you ended up in the last round and once it's been completed you enter into the Ashwood Manor and you have different room prompts to be able to explore. There are prompts per room but there are also are alternative options if needed to make it a bit more accessible and Kirsty goes into such amazing detail in their announcement video so for all of these please go check them out they will be more coherent than I ever could be. Then we have the Introverted Reader Readathon which is created by the Introverted Reader and you can read whatever however whenever you want. DNFs, double ups allowed, the only rule is to be kind and have fun and they have eight prompts which are just a fun and good time. Then we have Ziri September which I found on Books and Jams and this is a 3 by 3 bingo board around genres. So you can either read a book from a series in that genre or whatever that genre could be interpreted as. So for Krista's example they gave in their video you can start a new series for the mystery since you don't know what you're getting into and you can get as creative as you would like with this and that makes my heart very happy because I love those interpretive prompts. Then we have Read Your Library which is created by Booking It With Atia and this is dedicated to reading and utilizing your public library. Read books to complete the challenge prompts and conquer the bingo board. To be able to be successful you do need to complete four out of the six challenge prompts and also get a bingo from the bingo board. You can triple up so one book can count for three prompts or you can do a combo of two bingo and one challenge prompt. Then we have Phase Out Your TBR Phase 6 which is created by Chris's Corner and this is a readathon based off Chris's TBR game of phase 10 chooses your TBR where you basically try and complete a phase using the prompts that they have created. So they have assigned a prompt to every single card within the deck and they have created those boards for easy visuals for you and this time we're working on phase 6. The idea is to work through a TBR you'd like to phase out so like physical, ebook, audiobook, whatever have you and just be able to try and get a run. Then we have Self Pub September which I found on Maeve Ever Books and this is a self pub indie pub reading challenge. So just reading as much as you can that are indie or self pub and to talk to them with people. There are no prompts it is just being able to build up the community and the discussion around the fabulous Indian self pub books that are out there. Then we have Australia September 2 which is created by Gunpowder Fiction and Plot and this is a readathon 
marathon celebrating books and authors from Australia. You only need to read one book by an Aussie author and you've completed it, but there are six prompts in total to be able to provide some structure for your reading if you feel so inclined. And the last three prompts are very much open to interpretation and very fun and causes me a lot of joy being an Australian myself. Then we have Welcome to Everbloom Academy which is created by Meg Reed and this is stylized through magical school vibes and inspired from some of their favourite middle grade books but it's not required to just read middle grade. You have five basic classes, a department requirement, and then an extracurricular activity. So you do need to read seven books, but they will also have a movie night, a games or trivia night, buddy reads, and a 24 hour cram final session. Then we have 30 books in 30 days, which is created by the Luminous Libro, and there are two options to participate. So either you read 30 books in 30 days, or you read 30 minutes for 30 days. <laughs> Each book must be under or near 100 pages and there are challenges if you want them. So example, reading 10 books from one genre or by one author or themed around 30s in some capacity. Don't be intimidated by this. There are so many helpful resources out there on how to actually achieve this and read like full novels. You absolutely can. But to make it more accessible, this is how they approach it. And you can just focus on the short things and that would also match up nicely with Shorty September, which is for Shorty September 2024 and I found on Too Many Headless channel and so you just read all the shorties. So that's 200 to 250 pages or fewer and if you want to pick your books in accordance with their prompts they're all based off different kinds of shorts and please for all that is holy go check out the prompt visuals because they are tarot cards wearing the different kinds of shorts. It's amazing. So these two work really well in conjunction and then we have Framed in September, an art readathon, which I found on Hannah's Books' channel. And this is all focused on books about art and the power of art and creativity. There are three prompts, a reading experience and creating prompts. And you can choose what you feel qualifies as art, whether that be movies or architecture, comics, paint, textured, graphic art, it's up to you. So as long as you read one book that is in some way, shape or form tied to art, you have participated. And then finally, we have Halloweenathon, which is running from the 22nd of September to the 31st of October. So it's running for a decent chunk of time, but I thought I'd still mention it here. And this is taken completely from their Google Doc. And Halloweenathon is a BYOB event, which is bring your own board. You had the freedom to create a personalized game board or bingo boards using a variety of prompts. I think they said there's over a hundred reading, watching and activity prompts to tailor your experience with your preferences. You don't even have to use their prompts if you don't want to. You can always just put books, movies, activities on any of the blank boards and or make any of the things corresponded with their pre-numbered boards and it's all just about the Halloween season and having a fabulous time leading up to that. So those are all the readathons that I found that are happening throughout the month of September. I am so excited. It's September is going to be utter chaos for myself and I am here for it. Ash is probably dying in the background at the thought of how much pain I'm going to put him through but that's utterly fine and <laughs> I cannot wait for September to start. I am genuinely so excited and I hope that you found a readathon that will help with your reading in whatever way, shape or chaotic form you would like it to be. So please let me know in the comments if you are participating in any of these readathons and how many are doubling up. I do know of a few people in Sufferathon that are combining six of these so it's going to be a good time. I'm combining three and who knows what else I'll throw on just because it happens. So yes, let me know anything you want to let me know in the comments down below and if you like this video feel free to give it a big thumbs up and if you'd like to see more of this mess feel free to subscribe. I'll hopefully see you in my next video. Bye!